Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Lego Lee 3 Tonight here, and today we have a brand new Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens set review on Kylo Ren's Command Shuttle, the second biggest set of this line. This thing retails for a whopping 120 US dollars. It has 1,005 pieces, and here's a front look at your very large box. There is the back of the box, and included with the set is one instruction manual with 156 pages of building. We'll kick off the minifigures by taking a close look at the First Order crew members. Now this is the exact same one that came with the TIE Fighter set, yes, including that face that we have now seen in four sets in a row. But you also get another one with this set who surprisingly is a black minifigure, which is really interesting and I'm really happy to see that besides that these figures are the exact same. You also get a First Order officer here who happens to be a female who has a white pair of binoculars, which is a pretty cool accessory included with this set. Her torso printing is great. I love her head. Her back printing is great as well. Here is the First Order Stormtrooper officer who is the exact same Stormtrooper minifigure that we saw with the transporter set besides one thing he has a big red pauldron. Now we can look at our first named character here. This is General Hux, played by Dom Hall Gleason in the film. And Dom Hall Gleason's dad, Brenton Gleason, was Mad Eye Moody in Harry Potter. So is this the first time that a father and son duo have both had minifigures? I mean, that's just an interesting thing that I thought of. This guy looks really cool. I love his hat. His torso printing is great. His face is really good. I think they did a great job with this. The only thing I'm disappointed with is that he doesn't have hair because all the pictures we've seen of him, he seems to have weird combed hair. But besides that, a great minifigure with some great back printing and awesome to get with this set. Eh, and then the final figure here is just Kylo Ren. I mean, he's okay. Actually, he's amazing. This is the new Kylo Ren minifigure now. He has the new lightsaber piece there, which is a little odd, but I like it. And his hilt is gunmetal gray, so that's really cool to see. His torso printing is, you know, it's relatively plain. It's nothing super exciting or anything, but it looks good for this figure. And wow. Look at that face print. I love that face print. It looks so cool, especially with the hood over it. But his cape from the back is its too small. It feels too small. I don't get why they just didn't give him a normal black cape piece. But he has some nice printing underneath the cape, so it's all good. The one thing about this figure, though, that's really weird is that LEGO actually gives us an option. You can take his hood off and you're going to put this helmet piece on him. And this helmet piece is very detailed. It's a nice mold. It's accurate. But it's also like five times bigger than it needs to be. It does not look very good. It's so large. It just, it looks silly. It looks, looks silly in my opinion. But the cool thing is it looks a lot like Darth Vader's helmet. So maybe there's some weird connection between Kylo and Darth Vader. We'll just have to wait and see. A great minifigure. And of course, he's only in this set. you got to get him. He just looks really cool. And here it is, Kylo Ren's command shuttle. Unlike its cousin, the Imperial Shuttle landed, this vehicle looks a little bit odd. It doesn't look bad, it looks pretty cool, it's just not as exciting in my opinion. But we're gonna get this out of the way real quick. This thing, when you put it into flight mode, becomes gigantic. Now the first thing you do right here is you can fold these little flaps out right here. So that works. But then over here, you can twist these parts and the wings extend right here. You kind of have to move them up into place and these parts actually will lock into place down here, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to do that on this side as well. Again, like I said, these parts kind of have to line up perfectly and you might have to use your hands to do that. But once you get in the right place, it should work. And there you go. I can't really fit it all in frame, but this thing is it's massive. It's humongous. This thing is so tall. Look at look at this. Holy crap. This thing is gigantic. I am astounded by how huge this vehicle is with its wings fully extended. Now, there is one big problem. In the trailer, these wings definitely fold out this way. And the Lego version cannot do that. So it is stuck in this position right here, which is disappointing. But besides that, it's perfect, it's awesome, it's humongous, and I love it. One complaint that a lot of people have had with this set is, oh, you can't display it with its wings fully extended. That sucks, you need to build your own stand. Well, okay, um. Ha ha, it balances on those small little wings. That's right, you guys are all wrong. You can actually display it on those wings. It's balancing by a very small amount, but it works. And I just love doing this because so many people have complained about that, a problem that's not actually a problem 
with the set. For the purpose of this review, however, we are going to fold those wings down so it doesn't tip over when I'm moving it around. Now you can see the details in the wing right here. Lots of exposed studs, which I'm not crazy about, but it looks fine. I like the details down here. The canines right here are pretty cool. And there's actually a hidden spring loader launcher right there, which is a cool play feature. It's really well integrated inside the wings right there. Now, the upper half of the wings look pretty good. Besides, there's a big hole right here. You can see my fingers kind of going through that hole where the mechanism is. That's a big problem, in my opinion. It's pretty plain, but it looks good. I like this design right here. It looks pretty good. Lots of expo exposed studs again, but the holes are just one problem that I have with this set. And down here, this is where it locks into place. So you basically just pull in this piece, that part connects onto that clip right there, and you can twist it and the wings will move down, which is a very cool play feature. Unlike some vehicles, this thing actually looks really solid from the back. These engines here look really cool. Lots of nice details. I like this all quite a bit. And it's actually a little compartment right here that can open up. And that is where you can store Kylo Ren's lightsaber, which is a cool little thing. Now we can move on to the main cockpit area of this vehicle. I love the shaping. The windows right here look really cool. Some nice angles, lots of cool designs. And this whole thing right here, you can grab this clip and it can actually open up right here, which is very cool to reveal a pretty spacious interior. Interior. Look at it, a pretty nice job. Now this part right here is actually a boarding ramp. It's pretty much impossible to get people to actually board onto that ramp, but it's a nice little detail. But the cool thing on the inside right here is the chair. I like the chair quite a bit. I like the controls right here quite a bit. It looks very cool. There's even some controls on the sides right here and some clips where you can put weapons and whatnot. So you can definitely fit more minifigures than just Kylo inside here. It's a spacious and good looking interior that I like quite a bit. All right guys, Farmerverts here on Kylo Ren's Command Shuttle. The wings not being able to fold out is very disappointing. The price for piece isn't great. That being said, I think it's worth it. One, because you get some fantastic minifigures, especially Kylo Ren and General Hux. But two, this vehicle is humongous. And you might have an idea for the size of it in your head right now, but you're wrong. It is a lot bigger than you think it is when you fully extend the wings. It's awesome to look at. And this is just a very detailed and well-designed set, in my opinion. And I love the features here. These features in this set are really well done. However, I think there could have been a little bit more features like the first road transport set had. But I think this set's a pretty good value. The figures here are great. The details are great. The vehicle's cool. There's one big problem with the wings, but besides that, everything here really just came together and made a very cool set. I'm gonna give Kylo Ren's Command Shuttle here a nine out of 10, but they're just my thoughts. I'd love to hear yours in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to like this video, favorite the video, share the video with all your friends. Go like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and follow me on Instagram. Please subscribe to this channel, and I hope you see you guys next time. More like a Star Wars set of reviews. I'll see you guys later. Bye.